Hey guys, very good morning to all of you and welcome to Aki Vlogs. In this video, I will be talking about green architecture and what all subjects it has in the second sem. And for the first sem, I have already made a video about the green architecture first sem review. So you can go ahead and check that video out. And if you want to know what happens in green architecture, it is basically architecture combined with environmental and sustainability aspect of architecture so that is the basic gist of green architecture in this you will be learning about you know how to do the energy calculation and how to make sustainable building and you'll be learning about other green building uh, certification systems so all these things are covered in this course and guys to get into detail let's get started with the video So the first thing is the green architecture program that starts in September in Algonquin College. I am right now in Algonquin College. So yeah, like literally right now in Algonquin College. Talking about green architecture, for green architecture you have to start applying at least two to three months before the program starts because uh, this course gets full very quickly and right now also this course is uh, waitlisted so that like if you apply right now for this course for September it will show you like you are in the waiting list so if someone pulls back like you know if someone opts out of this course uh, then only you can get admission into this and the course fees is around $17,000 now it will be around I think so $18,000 uh, that's not a lot but it is pretty high um, and coming on to the subject for the first semester you have at least six subjects i will show all the subjects on the screen and for this sem again we have like four subjects and these all subjects go deep into like you know how to design wall what all are the different layers of the uh, wall and what is the u value of it and how is the r value calculated and uh, things that can affect like you know small factors that will affect the building performance and everything so you will be learning a lot about it a uh, lot of projects are group based uh, it can get tiring because uh, there are a lot of submission and there are few subjects that you know submissions will overlap so yeah you have to be on time and uh, many people ask me that uh, can you do a part-time job while you are doing this course so my answer is yes i am doing a part-time job in fact i'm doing two part-time jobs um, one is in college and one is a security job if you follow me regularly you might be knowing about it so that is what my life is and uh, it can get hectic uh, i do get up at 7 every day uh, and i do go to bed at 1 a.m every day so like you barely get uh, enough sleep like people call like you know eight hour sleep that never gonna happen like if you are doing this course and doing two jobs so be careful about that uh, it can be hectic so if you want a chill course or something this is not a course for you uh, other than that the course is quite informative you will learn a lot about uh, building systems in Canada especially because obviously you are here so you will be planning to work over here so if you want to know how a structure is designed how a structural performance performance can be increased of a building and how to design a green certified building or LEED certified building or any certification if you want for your building this course will guide you enough and uh, pretty well there are some subjects that I hate uh, that is one of them is project management and costing sustainable project management and costing but I'm still confused that what is sustainable about it because uh, Anyways, not talking about that because I'm still doing this course and I don't want any issues. But <laughs> there, there are some things that I don't like about it. And that is one of them is that. And sometimes uh, it also depends on like, you know, uh, how the professor of that course is. Sometimes the professors are like, you know, they are very uh, high in knowledge, but very low on their teaching aspects. But some professors are really good like even if they don't know about everything because we are humans we can't know about everything but people know how to teach that's that's important if you know something it's very important how to portray it and how to put it in front of students that uh, you will get to know more about it 
uh, I am missing the aspect of like having an on campus classes that hasn't been started and most probably our whole course will be completed and we won't be able to attend any online or sorry any offline classes so that's off the table but uh, right now the course is going well uh, we are learning a lot about uh, mechanics of building we are learning how to calculate the thermal performance of a building how to do different kind of analysis for the building like daylight analysis like the temperature or the air uh, ventilation system analysis so there are a lot of things that comes into a green architecture uh, building or like green certified building so here in this course you will learn a lot about it I won't say you will learn everything about it because it's highly impossible to learn everything about it in just eight months long course. So you have to have to keep that in mind. You have to be vigilant. You have to be active. You have to do a lot of assignment. So these all things will be there. And second sem, mostly you are doing a lot of calculation. You are doing a lot of analysis. You are learning different tools to do these analysis. Like there are Cove tools, there is PHPP, and uh, there is um, IES VE. Uh, so these softwares are used to analyze a building model. If you make a 3D model and if you give uh, proper thermal properties and everything to a building then the software analyze all the data for you and yes this course will also guide you for lead certification so that is a very important aspect of it you will learn about a lot of uh, lead certification programs uh, in this course and uh, you will learn how to give your lead examination there will be subjects and there the professors will guide you how to approach the lead examination so this entire course will actually uh, prepare you pretty well for that examination so lead ge is the examination that you can give after this course so that is one pl plus point of it and uh, the course is going pretty well i would suggest if you are too much into architecture if you like sustainability if you want to learn about green architecture and green buildings and lead certification system and all the other certification systems that are available in uh, america and in canada specifically uh, this course is for you. This course will guide you pretty well. Uh, but other point is hectic. Some subjects you might not like, some subjects you might hate. But uh, that's how it is. Every In every course you hate some things, you like some things. So you just have to balance it out. And guys, uh, I think so that will be all for uh, this sem review and uh, if you want to see other videos about green architecture and other things the links are in description and i will mention the link in the video itself so you can go up over here and just click it and you will find the link so take care of yourself guys and uh, see you soon bye bye